Um, so what you're looking at here, this is the um, that's the memorial tower that's right at the main um, main part of the building. That's one of the marquee spots. This is the main entrance to the building, so the bus loop will go around here. Students will get dropped off here in the morning. The building is basically broken into two parts. There's an, uh, the civic part of the building is to the right. That's sort of the public faces. That's the auditorium, the gymnasium, or over on that part of the building. The left of the tower is the academic part of the building, so that's four stories over there. Those are classrooms, science labs, uh, more traditional learning spaces, but obviously in a, in a new environment. Um, three stories on the right, four stories on the left. Enter on the second floor from the front of the building, exit out the first floor in the back of the building. Uh, and we're looking forward to going around and taking a spin around it. We come across the courtyard, enter into the building here in the cafeteria in the morning. Um, once we've gone through arrival, That'll be closed down. The only entrance um, into the high school part of the building will be here at the front. People have to come in through the main office. There's going to be a de facto quad that's established here. So the building is generally L-shaped with some academic wings off of, the, off of this side of the L here. Okay. Uh, and the quad's formed by the two sides of the building, the ice rink that's out there, the existing ice rink, and then it's going to be the back of the football stadium bleachers. Okay. will form the four sides of that quad. Okay. So the way the typical classrooms are going to be laid out, so you've got that sort of the main teaching wall is over there. You can see the um, fixtures that are put in that so it's going to be an interactive whiteboard in every classroom. That's going to go up on the wall there. Um, over here on the side wall, that's with the accent color on it. There's going to be cabinetry that goes built in, um, built in millwork that goes in along there. Um, windows on this side, there'll be an LCD, a small LCD TV back there that can be used as another teaching place. Uh, and then we are doing whiteboards along the back wall as well as the front wall, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got multiple teaching uh, places with any classroom. The building is we have three of these are two-story and three of these are one-story interdisciplinary spaces built into the building. Um, so what they are, uh, you can see there's a couple of classrooms that actually will feed out into the space. And the idea is if we have two teachers that are working together, let's say it's a social studies and English teacher, so for, for example, our American studies class, or some of our business classes that work together when our kids do DECA projects. Um, so this will serve as both a soft seating space for students. This area here will be carpeted, uh, but it's also a place where you can bring two classes and maybe 50 kids together to do, do larger group things. Uh, wide open two-story spaces. One of the things that we're going to love is you can see the large wall behind the staircase. Um, so each of these walls, um, Perkins and Will has done a great job. That, uh, we've worked with them on a whole branding component of the building. Uh, and then we have a historical subcommittee that's doing work as well. So these are all going to be branded with uh, historical images from Bill Ricca. Um, so whether that is um, the house school, or certainly one of the things is, is John F. Kennedy's um, visit to the, to the school uh, to dedicate it as Bill Ricca Memorial High School in 1959. Where we are here is, um, is, so on the media bridge, this is the extension connection between cafeteria and library. Um, I, one of the things I want to point out, these uh, blue lamb beams, these wooden structural beams, they're going to be exposed. Most of them are covered right now, but it gives you a chance to see that that's an, important, that's an element of the building. And you'll see that actually as we walk down the whole civic side as well. Uh, the way the gym is going to work, three courts, three teaching stations, three courts that go across. The way we're looking at it right now, the courts will run from right to left. Um, across, across, across with the main court in the middle. Okay. Leachers will extend in from this side, pushed out to the main court and from the far side pushed into the main court. Um, so total bleacher count is, what, maybe 1,400? Does that sound about right, Brian? Give or take. Okay. Um, yes. And then you can see there's also a walking track um, that goes around the entire um, length of the gymnasium, the entire perimeter of the gymnasium, and the library right now. And then this is kind of the, the crux where we hit the civic part of the building. So as we go down, the gymnasium will be on our left, and then the auditorium's at the end of the hallway. So I know we're not supposed to pick favorites, but this is my favorite space in the building. Um, so we are currently up on the up on the balcony or mezzanine level of the auditorium. Uh, auditorium is going to seat about 700. So there's 500 seats down below, 200 seats up here on the higher level. Um, it is designed um, incredibly well with a huge amount of input from, from our team here. Um, where we are right now up on this balcony level, um, we have some seating here, but it's the seats are actually going to go with three or four rows of seats. Um, it's actually five. Oh, five rows of seats. Yeah. Okay, yeah. five rows of seats up behind us into the wall. Okay. Um, oh, behind us is only. Oh, behind three. us is only three. Okay, yeah. sorry, thank you. Um, so three rows of seats behind us, and then uh, the seating down below as well too. Um, handicap access over there on the right as well. Um, but this is I cannot wait for the space to be done and ready. This is um, this is it's a phenomenal space, and and we're excited about what we can do here with it. When you look at the front of the building, it's it's sort of the more traditional brick facing to it, right? 
Um, but it's kind of a combination of the old and the new. So you've got these metal panels on the back that really, um, so sort of front facing, you know, the idea was to integrate it with the, with the, um, with the greater community that's around it. Right. But at the same time, we wanted to make sure that there's a modern space because we need to prepare kids for their futures. Right. Um, and so when you look at the metal panel here on the auditorium, one of the things that we talked about where we are going to have this open quad as a big open community space, you'll notice the two different colors of the metal panel. That larger, uh, that lighter color there is designed so it's a projectable surface. Okay. Um, so that we can do things like outdoor family movie nights. Movie nights! Here in the quad and project <laughs> movies on that screen. Um, it's a really cool feature and again something that, you know, as I said before, the community made such an investment in this project. We need to make sure that the project provides something not just for the kids that are in the building, but for the community as a whole. So we're excited about that.